everyone. Thank you so much for joining me again for another fluid art tutorial video. Um, I am actually going to be doing another pour very similar to one that I've posted recently where I used the funnel and I kind of turned the piece as I was adding colors, kind of keeping the colors a little bit separate in the funnel. I'm doing a much larger piece than I did that time. That was an eight by 10 canvas. This is actually a double the size. It's a 16 by 20 canvas. So we're gonna see how it works. The other fun thing that I'm doing today is I'm actually using some ready to pour paints, um, which is not something you've seen me do before. I typically will always mix my own paints. Um, today, what we're trying out is we're trying a deco art uh, ready to pour acrylic paints in some various colors, and then also some of this spin drip pour. Um, it looks like it's a folk, oh, it's folk art drizzle. Um, paint. I found uh, both of these actually at Michael's. So, um, you know, if you like this and like what I do here today, go and check them out and give them a try. So, um, got lots of different colors here today. I'm going to go ahead and open these up so that I can just pour them right out. I'll let you know the colors as we go. All right. Makes more sense to have them over here. So I'm right handed. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to put my phone in the center here and we're going to just uh, start. Uh, starting with fuchsia. Probably should have started with white, not really a big deal. Uh, rose gold metallic. I shook these up pretty good before I started, so hopefully they'll be good. This one, uh, optimistic flash. <laughs> so this one's kind of a iridescent bluish purple. Then we're adding some glitter. This one's called salty and it really is just glitter. Here is mint green. Uh, tropical blue. True blue. I'm not adding very much of each color, so we'll see how that ends up going. I'm gonna add some white. This is just, uh, just called white. I'm gonna go back to the fuchsia and just go in the same order I already went. Now this metallic seems thicker than the other paint, so that's interesting. And the glitter. Very curious to see how this comes out. I'll go ahead and speed this part up. there. I'm going to go ahead and spin this as I let this paint out. See how this goes. I don't know how the cell reactions are going to be in this in comparison to the other. Okay, we're going to need more paint than that, so I'm going to do some more rounds here. Hold tight. Let's go some more. 
I'm not sure if that's gonna be quite enough paint, but let's go ahead and see what we get with that. Now I can already tell there's not nearly as many cell reactions um, with these pre-mixed paints as there was when I mixed my own with Floetrol. I do see some cell reactions coming in here in some areas. So we'll see how this goes. Just get these away a little bit. I'm gonna torch the bubbles out. So I did shake these up. <laughs> pretty good before I use them because they do tend to separate, I've noticed. I've played around with them a little bit um, in other pieces off camera. I have not yet done a video with these, so. Oh, sit tight, I need more fuel. All right, there we go, much better. So I don't know if you can see, I do have some interesting cells going on. So um, I'm just gonna spin this today. Let's make sure I'm not gonna knock anything over. Okay, all right, uh, let's see. I think I'll add some white to the edges here so we can hopefully not lose too much design. Just allow it to flow. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit. spin it and see what happens. Ooh, okay, that spread out pretty good. Oh, that's interesting. Just kind of get these corners so that it will go on its own here. on the spinner. All right, I'm gonna tilt it. One thing about this paint is it stinks, honestly. I don't like the smell of it at all. I'm 
Not entirely sure what they've mixed it with for poor and medium, but it does not smell good. I'm gonna torch it again. I definitely still see a lot of bubbles in here. Could also be the glitter. I'm gonna blow the center a little bit, see if I can make it a little bit more interesting. There we have it. I'll bring you in for a close up here. Sit tight. All right, guys, here it is. The finished piece, still wet here. Let's go ahead and come on down and give you guys a closer look so you can see really how these ready mix paints or ready to pour paints react with each other. This area is pretty interesting. It's got some cell reaction for sure, but not nearly as much cell reaction as you get when you mix your own. The colors aren't showing up super great on camera here. So here's definitely a lot more cells. I like this area as well. starts to get more interesting over here. Don't forget to check the description for links to products used. I'll see if I'm able to link the um, this particular paint. I'm not entirely sure if I can do that. I don't know if they sell it on Amazon or not, but I will try to do that. So don't forget to check below for that. Um, I will also um, put in my usual mixture for uh, mixing my own paint. That way you can know what I would normally do, which is not this ready mix paint. Um, I do think it looks interesting though. Uh, drop a comment and let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your opinion and thank you so much for joining me again and I'll see you next time.